Hello there, welcome back to the FTC 101 series from our team, 24751 Green Arms Robotic Team. Wow. Today, I'm super excited because this is our first video about the mechanical and care aspects of robotics. We are going to take a look into a very common robot design process that our team follows ourselves. Let's get into it. In the first step, we are going to determine which particular problem are we trying to deal with. It could be which dry screen is best suited for each kind of terrain or how to optimize the robot. Take our last year's center stage bot as an example. We need to score pixel, a hexagon shaped game piece. In that year's game, the biggest obstacle that we need to overcome was how to interact and deal with this particular game element. As an experienced team struggled with deciding which mechanism were better to incorporate in their robot. To that end, let's specify the requirements to solve your problem. You should be able to point out the most important aspects of it, such as reliability, speed, flexibility, or how you should integrate the mechanism. Then, search for the mechanism that fits said requirements. Keep in mind that it is almost impossible for rookie teams to act to achieve the perfectly optimized mechanism. So think as carefully as you can about the pros and the cons. The next step will be visualize and cut the actual designs. Computer aided design is crucial in robotics because it allows easy calculations, precise visualizations, and iteration of complex designs before physical prototypes are built, saving time and resources. We will also recommend you to have your team members design multiple varieties of a mechanism so that you can pick the best one later. Also, you should sketch the robot in 2D to calculate the, the dimension of the mechanism before moving on to 3D CAD. Now, we can move on with the prototyping process. Remember, you don't need to use too fancy materials or put in too much effort into this step. Rather, focus on the shape and the measurements of the mechanism. We suggest using 3D painting to help reduce the cost and the effort while still being effective. Uh, we also recommend using plywood panels, mica plastic sheets, and formex. The next step includes testing whether the mechanism achieves what you want, but of course, uh, be prepared that the mechanism might not work as you planned it or calculated. It's best to test multiple variants of the same mechanism concurrently, and simple tests are way better than complex ones. For example, if I want to test this claw, I only need to grab this pixel and spin the servo. If you're satisfied with the results, you can start attaching the mechanism to your robots and start test runs on the competition field. Next, analyze the result and iterate. If the mechanism has achieved the result you want, then you can proceed to the final step. Of course, reality is not always so favorable. For instance, in the last year's game, we discovered that the pixel doesn't fit in the claw. We have to go back to the previous stage and make a new prototype. Don't be discouraged if your second or even your third attempt doesn't work as well as you expected. However, don't change too many things at once. You want to change only one variable at a time, or else you won't know what may cause a further problem should it arise. It often takes multiple tries to get things right. Actually, our team has more than 10 iterations of claw design to refine and hone down. We don't recommend new teams to rework the mechanism so much. Instead, you should try to isolate and solve one problem at a time. Your final implementation could be just an upgrade prototype, or if you had used scrap material for it, you could change them out for durable ones. Thank you for watching our video on the robotics design process in the FTC One series. We hope you gain some valuable insight in how to turn ideas into reality step by step. 
If you have any other questions or interested in robotics challenges, don't forget to contact us directly. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell icon for more updates in the future. Peace and love.